is an ABC oral exam webinar ectopic pregnancy. I'm going to go a little bit into ultrasound because there's a practice bulletin on ultrasound and talking about pelvic inflammatory disease. And what I looked at is I have um, two additional lectures that I'm going to do, and then Dr. Doss is going to do one lecture on uterine prolapse. Actually, I have three lectures. And when I looked at my lectures for oncology, they were 200 plus slides a piece, and that's a little bit hard to get through in two hours. So what I decided to do today is I decided to add on molar pregnancy to this, and everybody should get the um, new updated PowerPoint, and I decided to add about 30 slides on molar pregnancy, and that way it's going to fit pretty well in with this topic of, of ectopic pregnancy. All right, so how about this one? You have a gravity two para zero. She did IVF in four weeks ago, and she comes to the ER with pain, and they get a beta HCG on her, and it's 1,100. Mm -hmm. And the patient wants to go home, okay, and she refuses observation or methotrexate. What's her differential diagnosis, okay, and um, would you elect to send her home and repeat the beta in 48 hours? And what's the next best step? Uh, for this particular patient, since she had an IVF done four weeks ago, um, and uh, with the and she does clearly has a, um, clinical symptoms of having an ectopic, which is actually confirmed.